Okay, PG, PG. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, we are getting all ready for Easter around here. And I wanted to make a build that I could show you guys something that you could make that was easy enough uh, that anybody could make that. So what I came up with is this serving tray here, shaped like a cute bunny. And it's not really that difficult to make. So let me walk you through the process and show you how you can make something that's festive that you can take for your Easter gathering. I'm using some scrap wood from previous projects and the first board here is guana cast. The length that I'm starting with is 42 and a half inches by three and three quarters inch wide. I really like the look of this wood and I think it's going to add some detail to this tray. And my second piece of wood here is walnut and it is 41 inches in length and one and a half inches in width. I cut all of these just a little bit over eight inches. Now on to the glue up and you can see I have kind of a wide and skinny look here and I really think that that's going to add to the aesthetics of the board, kind of give it just something different than what you normally see. So it's kind of fun here. You can design yours however you want by different wood or just by changing it up in some way. And you'll see here, I'm gonna put a clamp on the top. That's just so that the board will stay flat and not bow. And you gotta love the power of editing because my glue is dry and we are moving on to the sanding. Now using clip art, I found an image that I liked and then I used my Cricut to print it on because I needed it big enough and my printer wouldn't print this big, but you can use whatever you want. Now in tracing it around, I didn't like the bottom of the bunny. So I'm just using a paint can here just to give it that rounded look that I want. I'm using a punch here just to mark everywhere where there is a indent in my design because I want to use a drill bit and if I don't have the hole already marked, my drill bit will tend to wander. Now you'll see a little bit further in this video why I'm putting in all these holes. I won't explain it all here. Uh, you could use a drill press and that's usually what I do here. Sadly, my husband sold the drill press that I enjoyed using and we now have a new giant contraption that is not that great for me to use. But I will get used to it. I need to get used to it. But I thought that this was a great opportunity for me to show you how you can use a regular drill bit in case you don't have a more high powered tool. Now, I did have some struggles along the way here. I learned that if you really get the drill bit going before you put it in, you'll have a lot less tear out. That being said, there was a little bit of tear out here and I had problems keeping the bit in the drill. So, not pretty, but it does get the job done. Oh man, this is embarrassing. Oh, let's hope this is over soon. Oh, thank goodness, we are on to the next part. So at this point, I am just rough cutting my design out and then I'll go back and really fine tune those edges. Now I like using the bandsaw. It's just so easy for work like this. I can really get around those edges and I can kind of curve things. It works great for me. Now not all of you will have a bandsaw, so you can always use a jigsaw or a scroll saw. Now the jigsaws are a lot more affordable, so if you're just starting out, I would definitely recommend getting one of those. You can use that tool for a lot of different things. Now the band saws, if you want to look into getting one of them, I would check Craigslist, maybe just to start out if you want to uh, do something a little more affordable. Now the holes that I drilled in here do make this part a lot easier. I can just go right into the holes that are preset and it helps 
with that curved area that I have in there. Now for the cute little bunny butt on this design, you could do this a lot of different ways. You could use a wood inlay. You could also cut a hole and put in something like marble or a different material, any that you would want to use. I prefer to use epoxy just because it's easy to pour in. You don't have to make sure that the wood inlay or whatever inlay that you're cutting is exact. To cut the hole in the tray, I used one of our old drill presses. And you can see that it's a little underpowered, so I had to feather the bit here to get it to work. I'm just using a two inch Forstner bit. Now moving on to the epoxy. I like to use an old cookie tray just in case there's any sort of leaks. And in fact, if you rewind there, you'll see that there's one clean spot on my cookie tray and that's where epoxy leaked the last time and I pulled it off. Now, I have a couple epoxy brands that I like to use. They're pretty foolproof and great for beginners. So I will link them in the description below for you. And if you need any help leveling up, Uno cards are a great trick. I'm just doing a quick sand with 150 grit, and then I'm moving on to the spindle sander. Now this is why I use the drill bit. I use the same drill bit size that my spindle sander has. So it helps me just really get into those areas, give it a nice smooth sanding, a lot smoother than anything that I could do by hand or with a hand sander. So I just wanted to point this out. If you have a spindle sander, this is a great hack, something that makes things really easy. If you don't have one, then you can always do those hard to reach areas by hand, or maybe even having that curve will allow you to get in with the sander. All right, now on to some more sanding, just with 150 grit here, just to make sure everything is smooth. And I use a little water on everything just to pop that green. If you don't do this, the first time you get the board wet, it's going to be really rough and it's not going to be enjoyable to use. And my last sanding here, I just move up the grits to 400 and then it's finished. And the best part of any cutting board or serving tray is in the end when you get to put on that mineral oil and see your project pop and come to life. It's just so great to see what you have worked on for days, maybe even weeks. And there it is, the little bunny butt with the butt as the focus. If you look back in my videos, you'll see that I did a past Easter project that was a lot like this with small little Easter bunnies. Hope you guys have a happy Easter. Thanks for watching.